Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is um, my old 2XL from, I think I probably got it in the 1980s, like, like you know, like 1980 itself. Um, this was uh, a, a, a great robot that I thought was awesome when I was a kid. Um, and I think it still actually works. It, it comes with, uh, so in order to play it, you needed to use 8-track tapes. Um, and the thing about eight tracks is they don't rewind, so um, you have to play the full tape and before it goes back to the beginning. Um, but these were the old eight track tapes that would play in the belly, and then um, uh, some of them came with booklets. So this is a booklet to accompany the TV and movie challenges. Um, so it was, it was supposed to be a learning tool, but you know I never really I don't think I got many learning ones. Let's see, I have uh, TV and movie challenges. Uh, general information that was always kind of cool. Um, story t Storyland 2XL and the Time Machine and um, Science Fiction 2. Those are the only ones I actually had, uh, but I think there was a whole bunch of different tapes. They re they brought it back in the 90s uh, with a cassette version of it that um, looked more like a a robot itself, but. I always thought this was really cool. So let's turn it on and see if it works. Okay, so even when you turn it on, you know, it's plugged in, but it doesn't turn on because it needs the tape inside to actually turn it on. Let's see, so I'll do the TV and movie challenges. Let's go through this tape, the, the A-track. There it goes. So it goes inside the belly. And the lights turn on up there. The Thank you for turning me on. I am 2XL, and this program will challenge you in the area of TV and movies. For this program, you must have the yellow booklet that accompanies this tape and a pencil. I'd like to know if you have both. Please answer yes or no now. So you just press the buttons and it says uh, yes or true. More or info or no or false. You deserve a Grammy Award for preparedness. I appreciate human beings who are prepared. Let me inform you that this program will tax your biological thinking unit on questions related to new movies, old movies, new TV programs, and old ones as well. We can now begin. You will be happy to know that the tape in my belly has two programs on it. If you would like to hear the first program, push A. If you would prefer to hear the second program, push B. Please push A or B now. Let's go for the first one. I, 2XL, thank you for following instructions. I now know you want to hear the first program in my belly, so I will present it to you. This program is quite complicated, so you must follow all of my instructions very carefully. You may not ignore me. If you do, everything we are doing will get very confused and make no sense whatsoever. Okay, here we go. Question number one. Which movie contained these three songs? Jive Talkin', Stayin' Alive, and Disco Inferno. Here are three choices. A. Saturday Night Fever. B. Thank God It's Friday. Or C. Disco Happening. Answer A, B, or C now. I know it's not C, and I know it's not, I'm pretty sure it's not B, so let's go with A. You oh. are Saturday Night Fever, and you are correct. All of the three songs were featured in the movie. Question number two is now out of the oven and ready for you. Remember the old show Bonanza? I will give you a choice. If you would like an easy question about Bonanza, push A. A medium question B, and a difficult question C. Answer A, B, or C now. Uh, let's go for A. Let's go for an easy one. I, I used to love Bonanza. I can't see. You have decided to play it safe, very safe, and choose the easy question about Bonanza. Here is your easy question. 
I will only give you two choices to make this even easier. Which character did Michael Landon portray on Bonanza? A. Little Joe or B. Chicken George? Answer now. Um, I don't think it was Chicken George, so I'm going to stay with A and Little Joe. Little Joe Cartwright. I have only one thing to say to you, and that is your answer is as perfect as a flawless diamond. Very, 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 very good work. For questions three, four, and five, we will work a little more quickly, so please come a little closer. I like human contact. Okay, here we go. On the TV series Batman, which villain was played by Burgess Meredith? Here are three choices. A, Riddler. B, Penguin. Or C, Mad Hatter. Punch in. A, B, or C, now. I'm going to go with B. The Penguin is correct. Good work. Question four. Let's try another one. Julie Newmar, which character did she play? A, you man fly. B, answerer. Or C, cat woman. Answer A, B, or C, now. Uh, C. There apparently is a tidal wave in your head because your brain waves are working perfectly. You have answered C and you are quite right. For question five, I have decided to give you a choice again. This question will be about the Lone Ranger. If you would prefer an easy question, push A, medium, B, or difficult, C. Push A, B, or C, now. Um, let's go for a hard one. Difficult question, here it is. Who played Tanto? A, John Smith. B, J, Silverheels. Or C, Cecily Tyson. Answer, now. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to go with B. I wonder if there was ever a computer in your family tree. Because you are quite brilliant. The answer was B. You pushed B. And if you figure all that out, you are quite correct. Before we go any further, I would like to give you a code word for you to remember. Your code word is French toast. That's right, French toast. Please remember your code word. Thank you. Please push the question button now. Thank you. Question number six. Going back a little while to 1978, what was the highest rated show of that year? Here are three choices. A. Battlestar Galactica. B. Little House on the Prairie. Or C. 60 Minutes. Please answer A, B, or C now. Um, I'm going to go with B. I know it wasn't Battlestar Galactica. I'm not sure about 60 Minutes. Very, very good work. You have answered B, Little House on the Prairie, and you are quite right. In 1978, this was the overall highest rated show. Good work. For questions 7 and 8, I would like to try an experiment and do something very complicated. If you get the first of these questions right, I'll make the second one more difficult and only give you one chance and two choices at the answer. If you get the first question wrong, I'll make the next question easier and give you two chances to answer it with three choices for the answer. But first, I want to know if you are a boy or a girl, so I can make the first question particularly interesting to you. If you are a girl, push A. If you are a boy, push B. Push A or B now. And I think B's already pushed, so I'm a boy. Thank you. I now know you are a boy, so I will make question seven particularly interesting to boys. True or false, James Arness from Gunsmoke and Peter Graves from Mission Impossible are brothers. Answer true or false now. Um, I think it's false. You have answered false. The answer was true. So as I oh, promised, wow. here is an easier question. And, as I promised, this easier question will contain three choices, and I will give you two chances to get the answer correct, if you need it. Okay, here we go. 3PO and R2-D2 were the stars of which movie? A. Star Wars. B. Superman. Or C. Star Trek. Answer A, B, or C. Now. I think this is a question that everyone can answer. 
Uh-oh, power failure. Just wait. Do nothing. Just wait. I must recompute. Things are looking good for you. Finally, I can tell you, you are right. Good work on your part. You have answered A, and this is the correct answer. For this next question, you must get your little booklet and open it to page six. Page six. So that's page six. Notice on page six, there are seven questions called Clue Me In. I would like you to turn me off, work out page six on your own, and then remember, please, to turn me back on. Please turn me off now. Okay, so I've already answered these, I think. they marked, so hopefully they're right. Okay, I'd now like to check your work on page six. One, the Fonz and Richie. Did you circle A, Laverne and Shirley, B, Happy Days, or C, Animal House? Answer A, B, or C, now. So, uh, Happy Days? You have answered A, Laverne and Shirley. The answer was Happy Days. Please push the question button now. Hey. Thank you. Let's do number two. The secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. Did you circle A, my camera, B, the fugitive, or C, mission impossible? Answer A, B, or C, now. Okay, I forgot to press the button, so C. Mr. Phelps would be proud of you. You have answered C, mission impossible. Good work. Please push the question button now. Let us now do three. Did you circle A, Space 1999, B, Star Trek, or C, Battlestar Galactica? Punch in your A, B, or C answer now. So this is for warp and impulse power, so that comes from Star Trek. Apparently, as Scotty would say, you have given her all she got, sir, because you are right. Push the question button now. Let's do four, and that's the way it is. Did you answer A, Walter Cronkite, B, 60 Minutes, or C, Happy Days? Answer A, B, or C, now. And that's going to be Walter Cronkite. I think when I was a kid, I, I probably I'll had tell my you, mom help I'm going to have to start these. wearing sunglasses when I work with you, because you are so bright. Good work. You have answered Walter Cronkite. Push the question button now. Thanks for the push. Let's do number five. Jack, Roper's Crowded Apartment are clues to which show? A, Three's Company, B, The Roper's, or C, Jack Jenkins' show. I've never heard of that show. That could be a hint for you. In any case, answer A, B, or C, now. And that would be Three's Company. Chrissy would be very happy to hear about this. If she was with you right now, she would be very impressed. You have answered A, Three's Company, and you are right. Push the question button now. Let us now proceed to do number six. Alex, John, Meter. These are clues to which show? A, Taxi. B, Welcome Back, Cutter. Or C, Cliffhangers. Please hear on my chest. Punch A, B, or C now. And that should be A, Taxi. Your biological processes are working perfectly. You have answered A, Taxi, and you are right. Good work on your part, and thank your finger for me too. Push the question button now. We are now up to our last question, question seven. Film, fun, fun. Uh oh, look at that. There's a typographical mistake in your booklet. Fun is only spelled with one N. Cross out that second N. How silly can they be? What is your answer? A, believe it or not. B, candid camera. Or C, seeing is believing. Punch in. A, B, or C, now. Uh 
And that would be B, which is candy camera. Well, at least expected, you're elected to answer answer B, because you are correct with the answer of candid camera. Do 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 boom. Please push the question button now. For my next question, you must flip the page over and look at page 7. Page 7, please. Notice on page 7, there is a little question and answer game called a pause from our sponsor. I will give you two minutes to work out page 7 and play a little music for your enjoyment during this time. And I will inform you when one minute has expired. Begin working out page 7 now. There's page 7, and it's all about commercials in the time. If you still need more time, you may turn me off now. I will not test you on the answer, but I will give you the correct answers right now. 1. I. M&M's 2. E 3. D as in David 4. A. When it rains, it pours is more time salt 5. H 6, B as in butter, margarine. 7, J. 8, G. 9, C. 10, K. And 11, F. Question number 17. You may not have been counting, but I have. We are up to question 17. The Jefferson High School gang from Happy Days hangs out in Arnold's. In what city is Arnold's? A, Milwaukee. B, Detroit, or C, New York. Please answer A, B, or C now. That was Milwaukee. The fans appreciate your answer. You have answered A, Milwaukee, and you are correct. This is the city where Happy Days takes place and Arnold exists. By the way, do you know why fish are so well educated? Because you usually find them in schools. <laughs> I'm sorry. Question number 18. Which is this a commercial for? Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. Is that a commercial for? A. Anison. B. Buffron. Or C. Alka Seltzer. Answer. A, B, or C. Now. And that should be Alka Seltzer. Excuse me. Good work. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz is a commercial for Alka-Seltzer. You are right. That is good for you. 
I would now like to check your memory banks. Remember before, I gave you a code word to remember. I'd like to know what your code word was. Here are three choices. A. French toast. B. Salad. Or C. Tomato. Answer A, B, or C now. I'm pretty sure it was French toast. Thanks. I appreciate that. I now have a question for you about the Lone Ranger. I'd like to know what type of ranger the Lone Ranger was. I will give you 15 seconds to think about this, and we'll provide a little music for your thinking abilities. everything. I just remembered something. I asked you a question about the Lone Ranger before. Let me check my long distance memory banks to see how you did. Do not choose an answer. Just wait. Very interesting. My memory banks remind me that on that previous question on the Lone Ranger, way back there when I asked you question five, you are right. You gave me the correct answer about the Lone Ranger. So I hope you get this one right also. And then you will have all the questions on the Lone Ranger correct. Before I give you the question, please push the question button now. Thank you for pushing the question button. I do appreciate you following my instructions. Okay, here is your question. True or false? The Lone Ranger was a Kentucky Ranger. Answer true or false now. It's false. Very good work. You are very smart and your finger is doing a pretty good job for you. You have answered true and you are right. The Lone mm -hmm. Ranger was not a Kentucky Ranger. He was a Texas Ranger. Good work. You have now completed the first program in my belly. If you'd like, you can just wait and follow instructions and try your finger at the second program in my belly. Or if you are getting tired, you may turn me off now. Okay, so that was um, the 2XL for the, uh, the first part of the TV and movie challenges. Um... I always had a great time playing with this when I was a kid, um, but yeah, there's a, you get a, a booklet too with it, and it's by the it was by the Mega Corporation, and you know I used to love this one as a kid, so hopefully I can get my kids to my daughters to sit down and and try to play it for you guys. Um, but yeah, let me know if you had uh, um, if you had fun watching the two XL go, um, and uh, if you did, um, if you like it and and subscribe, I'll. I'll do some more uh, 2XL videos for you. I have uh, three other 8-tracks um, tapes, and there's a second program on this one we can do. So uh, just uh, if you guys like it and uh, like the video and subscribe, I'll, I'll do some more. So thanks for watching.